Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Let me give you a quick preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first, I got some uh, UFOs over Boston. Also, I have this um, video of some U uh, UFOs filmed over Chile. Also, got this from Reddit Triangle UFO filmed flying by silently in Mexico. Let's see, and I got this from the Daily Mail. UFOs are spotted flying on dark side of the moon in video recorded in broad daylight, but not everyone is convinced. You can see that little clip there. Uh, let's see, also got this old clip of, of, of a Bob Lazar interview. Looks like from the 1980s. Um, and this is a very interesting clip of uh, this guy named Rich Hoffman, who is a scientist, and he talks about how, you know, legitimate scientists, um, physicists, and, you know, other people w within the field of science are actually taking this uh, UFO subject seriously now and um, studying the data. And this guy talking to him and, you know, also uh, Gary Nolan. Here's a, a, a video with Gary Nolan, how these guys are talking about how, you know, the most important um, aspect, I guess, of science is the data. Right, and they're actually working with data and treating the data as uh, as legitimate, credible uh, information that um, that they're analyzing and, and coming up with conclusions. But um, yeah, so we got this Rich Hoffman, and then this um, uh, Gary Nolan, where he's at this uh, Salt Conference talking about how um, that the aliens have always been here and that they actually are uh, affecting or impacting our culture that you know that they possibly play a role in in creating our religion and things like that uh, let's see i got this clip here of james fox talking about robert bigelow and how robert bigelow acknowledges that um that they walk amongst us that they're already on the planet let's see and i got this photo here that i found on my facebook i you know i mean you can see this guy down here I have no idea whether this is real. I mean, it definitely looks real. Um, I have my doubts, but yeah, I have my doubts, but look at this guy. But anyways, we'll, you know, take a look at that. Link will be in the description so you can check it out. Uh, let's see. I also got this clip here. And like, you know, there is no date on it, but this little article talks about um, finding this underground city and based on the size of everything built in there, uh, this reporter comes to the conclusion that it was built for giants. It's, a, it's an underground city that was built for giants. Oh, it's called the Mammoth Cave. Let's see. Also have this illustration. Check out this illustration. Look at, you know, it shows, look at these humans down here and apparently working with giants. And then last is this, um, I think this is a newspaper Habiler.com. I think it's a Turkish newspaper, but it's this article about how UFO panic at uh, Gaziantep Airport. Pilots notice all flights stop. But this was actually in uh, Turkey, and I had to have it translated. But anyways, uh, let's go to this first video here. Uh, UFO filmed over Boston. Let me go full screen. Yeah, you know, I think this is like just one triangle shaped UFO. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Back in 75 and 76, right? We can't see them, but the camera can. Anyways, that's that video. Link will be in the description. You can check it out. Not the most exciting. Uh, let's go to this one here. This is four spherical UFO sighted over a suburb in Santiago, Chile. And see, now I wonder if this is like, is this four separate UFOs or is it just one? I think it's, I think this is just one UFO with four lights. The right reasons. So there is a link in the description box as always to the original footage. So you can have a look at it in its entirety. 
So here's what I know about this footage. This was cited on May the 16th, 2023, from this suburb in Santiago, Chile, and it was cited around 10 p.m. Now, the witness states that this object or these objects, and we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, you see, I think it's one object of four lights. This guy says that the original link is in here. I don't see the original link to this thing. Anyways, um, yeah, well, I'll provide a link to this video at least. You can check it out. Let's go to this one here. This is Triangle UFO film flying by silently in Mexico. Oh, that thing is moving. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. Let's go to this next clip here. Oh, yeah, so a video. Okay, yeah, so let's see. UFOs are spotted flying on dark side of the moon in video recorded in broad daylight, but not all viewers are convinced. Two white objects can apparently be seen floating over the moon in a TikTok clip. But some users said the poster described himself as a computer graphic artist. Two unidentified flying objects have been spotted over the dark side of the moon, as social media users claim. At least two white objects can apparently be seen floating over the moon in footage posted to TikTok last week. The TikTok video posted by user Larry Liu is captioned, What is this object near the moon? and has over 4.6 million likes and 100,000 comments. But some users pointed out poster described himself as a computer graphic artist in his bow before the description was removed. Uh, yeah, you know what? I've done computer graphics, but I, that doesn't mean I can do stuff like this. You know, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to go with it's real, regardless of the fact that this guy's a computer graphic artist. So what? I used to be a computer graphic artist, but I've never like created a fake. Just because, yeah, just because someone is listed as a computer graphic artist doesn't mean that they're uh, creating fake clips. I don't know. Well, link will be in the description. You can check it out. Okay, now I got this clip about uh, Robert or uh, Bob Lazar. And I believe this is from the 1980s. But anyways, check this out. They are actively and have in their possession uh, alien spacecraft, and they are actively uh, undergoing analysis. And flying them. And flying them. Bob Lazar is an engineer and Who's physicist who says he worked on flying saucers for the U.S. government at Area 51. He drew these sketches of one of nine different saucers he says the government has in a secret warehouse. Lazar gave the saucers each names according to their various shapes. Top hat, the sport model, the jello mold. Called in to help figure out how they work, Lazar says the saucers are powered by an antimatter generator, fueled with the element which he says could only have come from another planet. They set up and produce their own gravitational field. Just as the Earth holds all matter down, they produce that same field, but out of phase, and it, it repels itself. The effects that can cause the way in which everything operates is, is by all intents and purposes, magic. I mean, it is so far beyond uh, our level of technology. Now, be Anyways, that's that clip. I don't want to play too much of this. Link will be in the description. You can check it out. Uh, okay, now this is also an interesting clip of this guy, uh, Rich Hoffman. Check out here what he says. Obviously, if the radar is tracking it from several different locations, right, this is not some anomalous object that, you know, people are 
people think they're seeing. And again, if it was like a bird or, you know, some um, uh, something that was explainable, right, they, uh, irrational, they they would. I'm sure the radar and the filters would realize that. Okay. Bill, uh, link will be in the description. Check that out. Let's go to this one here. Okay, yeah. Now this is also Gary Nolan talking about how you know that these that they're already here, that they've been here, and that they they play a role in shaping our culture. Anyways, check this out. Realize what it is that you're looking at. Yeah. They don't have to land on the White House lawn. We can only make the joke about is there intelligence in D.C. at all, right? You, you just need to show yourself to enough to acculturate. Yeah. Now, if you've been around for a long time, and this is what, something that I do think has been on, they've been around for a long time, they are affecting our culture. He really said they've been around for a long time and they are affecting our culture. Right? It's actually often thought that many of the religions that we think of as the most important have been part of this process. Mm. I mean, there are so many tangents to go down. We have about right. a one minute and 45 seconds. Wow. We've covered a lot, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I think... Anyway, this is a, that's what the point I wanted to uh, uh, show you in this clip. This is a yeah, 16, almost 17-minute um, uh, interview at this uh, SALT conference. I think this is um, like business leaders um, who are shaping the future of um, society. Uh, from an economic standpoint, I think. I think that's what the SALT conference is about. But anyways, um, check that out. Link will be in the description. Okay, now in this clip, this is uh, James Fox talking about um, when he first met Robert Bigelow and um, what Robert Bigelow had told him. Anyways, check this out. Uh, he says, James, um, do you understand the implications of disclosure? And I said, uh, I don't remember like giving it too much thought. Why? He goes, um, meaning the implications of disclosure. If this, the if this story really came out. Okay. So I was like, uh, and to be honest with you, yeah, sure. I guess I thought about it. But I mean, it didn't really seem like that big of a deal to me. We're not alone. Great. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, all right. All right. Thought about it. Yeah, I, don't think, <laughs> I don't think anybody just thinks that we're alone in the universe anymore anyway. But right. You're coming here. He said, uh, he said, that he, and, uh, I just need to really emphasize this to everybody out there so you understand what I'm telling you. I'm not saying I believe what I'm about to tell you, okay? I need to see more evidence. I'm not saying I don't believe it, right? but I don't just believe something because someone told me that. I need to see supporting evidence. I need to hear testimony. I need a lot more. Here's the thing, though. Why would Robert Bigelow lie to him, right? Robert Bigelow is a billionaire. He has contract with the government. He has no, he doesn't have any need to um, be validated by James Fox or anyone else, right? So why would Bigelow lie about something like this? And another thing, right? Bigelow doesn't have a history of being a bullshitter. So again, this idea that you have to doubt what he says is, I, I guess, I mean, it's good to be a little skeptical, but come on. Look at the source, all right? Look at the source. What's taken me as long as it has with all the other cases that I investigate. I don't just like believe a case. Okay, so Robert Bigelow said to me, they're walking among us. I said, what do you mean they're walking among us? I said, they're, they're walking among us. They live right here, kind of thing. So again, I'm looking at him going, <laughs> I need to see, and I'd like to see some proof of that. Right. But then he's, again, when he keeps asking about proof, what about the thousand to two thousand years of sightings? What about the UFO sightings that happen every single day? Right. The reports of people seeing UFOs exiting our oceans and entering our oceans. Right. All the video footage of UFOs coming in and out of volcanoes. Right. All those the stories of of military. Uh, are people in the military who know a certain places that they can go, whether it's the ocean or, or certain places on land where they can watch UFOs come and go because these are the flight paths that are being used by the entities. Again, like Robert Bigelow has said, like um, Gary Nolan has said, right, that they are here. They're not, they're not, again, I'm positive we have some visitors 
right? Because there's so much life out there. But the majority of the sites that we're seeing are from entities that that live right here, that walks, that walk amongst us. Anyways, a uh, link to this will be in the description. Okay, now this one I found on my Facebook that I came across. I am not 100% convinced that this is uh this is real because um, well, for one thing, look at look look in this this in his nether regions. Like where where, where are his wevels? Where's his schlonger at? Unless this is it down here. But even on, like in this photo here. Right? Did they? Did he have a schlonger and they airbrushed it out, or is this whole thing airbrush? All right. Anyways, I, I mean, I would, I would love for this to be real, um, but I'm not 100% convinced. Look at this dude down here. Anyways, uh, I'll put the link to this in the description. Now, this little clip I thought was very interesting that I found on Reddit. It's about this, um, these giant caves or this cave that was found and based on the architecture um the reporter believes that it was built for giants but let me just give this a quick read here that the mammoth cave is an antiquity of the world before the flood a city of giants which an earthquake swallowed and which a chance roof of rocks has protected from being effaced <clears throat> by the deluge and by the wear of the elements for subsequent ages is one of the fancies which its strange phenomenon forces upon the mind. Well, they really had a strange syntax back then. Anyways, um, all is so architectural. It is not a vast underground cavity, raw and dirty, but a succession of halls, domes, and corridors, street avenues, and um, arches all underground, but all telling of the design and proportions of a majestic primeval metropolis. It is not a cave, it is a city in ruins, a city from which sun, moon, and stars have been taken away, whose day of judgment has come and passed, and over which a new world has been created and grown old. By what admirable laws of unknown architecture those mammoth roofs and ceilings are upheld in every traveler's wondering question. In some shape or other, I heard each of my companions express this. No modern builder could throw up such high-vaulted arches and unaccountably sustain them, and all else is in keeping. The cornices and columns, aisles and galleries are gigantically proportionate and as mysteriously upheld. Street after street, mile after mile, seems to have been left in ruins, and here and there is an effort as if the basement and lower stores were encumbered with fragments and rubbish, leaving you to walk on a level with the capitals and floors once high above the pavement. It might be. So that's it. But think of this is saying there's miles of this. So I wonder where this is. And I wonder if this is like a location that um, some people are aware of, but um, <clears throat> have most likely... Um, restricted people from visiting. So, you know, uh, uh, the Mammoth Cave, I, I wonder if, you know, if anyone out there knows of any, like, restricted caves. Are there are there any any areas in the, I'm, I'm going to assume this is the Mammoth Lakes region, if it's called the Mammoth Cave. Again, you know, this is, this is all I got in this clip, so it's really hard to figure out um, the source of this, but hmm, I wonder if this is like, um, like near the Mammoth Ski Resort or Mammoth Lakes, I think it's called in Nevada, I believe it is. That, you know, are, are there any <clears throat> restricted areas around there? And if so, I bet you that the reason why it's restricted is because they don't want you to know that there's these uh, there's these cities that are made for giants down there. Anyways, link to this will be in the description. Let's go to this one here. I thought was kind of interesting, this illustration in a 17th century book. But check this out, man. You know, it's got... Like there's, yeah, there's all of these ancient stories, right, of giants working alongside humans. And there is tons of evidence that giants did exist, right? There's, I've done videos of all the footprints that we're finding in, in um, ancient rock and other places, handprints. So no doubt, I, you know, and uh, there's some people who think that the giants are still here, that um, they're just in, they're just, they hide themselves for whatever reason. Anyways. Link to this will be in the description. And now last is this um, article here from the Habler.com, which is a Turkish paper. 
but th this video doesn't show anything in it. I think it's, yeah, there's no audio in it. But anyways, let me just give this a quick read. Landing and departure flights from Gaziantep Airport, I hope I'm saying that right, have not been carried out since midnight after an unidentified object was seen in Gaziantep airspace. Hundreds of passengers waited for hours due to the cancellation of flights. According to the latest information, some flights began to take place after 12 hours. According to the incident at uh, 00.30 in Turkey, an object that could not be identified by the cockpit team of two cruise aircraft at an altitude of about 9,000 feet was detected. Pilots reported the situation to Gaziantep Air Traffic Control Tower. It was learned that the unidentified body was also confirmed by air traffic controllers. Uh, let's see. According to the information received from Gaziantep Airport, State Airport Administration, it was stated that NOTAM was not published, while an official statement on the subject would be made later. On the other hand, hundreds of passengers had to wait for hours at Gaziantep Airport due to the cancellation of flights. Hmm. Yeah, that's all it really says. But anyways, um, that is going to be it for this video. Hey, you know what? I've actually reached my um, my 4,000 hours in order to get monetized. What, what now um, that I'm missing are, are subscribers, right? So if you can help me out there, you know, I would really like to get to a thousand subscribers so I can get my channel monetized and, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, take this further, get uh, a lot more subs and just grow this channel. So, uh, if you want to help me out, please, um, share this video, like this video, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel so, um, I can, you know, keep making videos like this. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Um, take care until next time.